Hopefully with this video, I'm able to save some of you some time and some headache. I know this can be a bit of a pain trying to figure all this stuff out. So very, very first thing to make this as simple as possible, Facebook Business Manager account. Get a Facebook Business Manager account, set up a Facebook Business Manager account. Just go to Google, type in Facebook Business Manager account, click the first link that comes up, and then click Create Account at the top. It's completely free and it's gonna make all of this that you're trying to do a lot easier. A Facebook Business Manager account is just simply one account that can house everything for you. All the different people, pages, Instagram accounts, different ad accounts, different pixels, all of that, you can house it all under the same login, all under the one same account, and that's your Facebook Business Manager. If you need help with setting up a Facebook Business Manager account, if you need, if it's brand new and overwhelming to you and you need a kind of a walkthrough of it, check out my Facebook Business Manager tutorials. That's what they're there for. So right here, here's a look inside of my Facebook Business Manager. If you're on anywhere else, if you're lost, whatever, just click on this top menu up here and click on Business Settings and it will take you inside of the business settings for your Facebook Business Manager. And this left column is where we're going to be able to add and remove anybody, anything, everything, all that jazz. So first things first, you've got these different tabs right here. Let's just start, <clears throat> we'll just take them one by one. So we got users and it's set to people right here. So this is where you're going to be able to add people to your Facebook Business Manager. So you'll first add them to your Business Manager as a person, as a user. And then from there, you'll be able to assign them out to whatever you want them to be doing or have access to inside of your um, Business Manager. So if under users, if you click on people and then click on add, then you just need to enter their email address right here. And then you assign them a business role, whether that's employee or admin access. And that's, you know, read through that and figure out what you want them to have if you click on show advanced options, there's some even more options that you could assign them right here. Once you've figured out what access options that you want to give them, make sure they're selected, make sure their email's in there, click next. This is where you can assign them to different pages, ad accounts, catalogs, apps, etc. So if you wanna, for example, assign them to a page, let's say I was gonna assign them to the Scotia page, I would click there and then I can uh, pick all these different accesses that I do or do not want to grant them to that page. Then you could go to add accounts, same thing. If I click on add account one, which accesses do I want to grant them? And just fill out everything here as you please. And then come down here and click invite. Now, this is kind of important because I know it can be a pain. Sometimes people don't get notifications and all that and just come down here and click on requests. And then they should see that invitation sitting here. But for anybody that, you know, uh, sends you a request or an invitation that's where you can see them there as well so that's super handy to know and so once you've added the person you could also click right here on add assets and then you, it'll bring you to that the same box right here where you can select all the different stuff or deselect the stuff as you please okay and then partners right here if you want to add somebody else's um, ad account as a partner then it just I'll, Pretty much out since we just did the first one where it's like add and basically just follow instructions that's pretty much how all these are going to be so you'll just click add and then you'll decide whether you want to give a partner access or ask a partner to share their assets all right so i'm going to close up the users tab and or the drop down and i'm going to click on the accounts drop down now i'm going to click on pages and then this is where you're going to be able to add and remove facebook pages whether they're your own or other people's so if you come up here and click on the blue add button, you can add a page, you can request access to a page, or you can create a new page. So add a page, if you already own the page, click that one, type in the page right there, then you'll be able to add it. Um, request access to a page, this is for if you're you know, going to be running ads for a client or anybody else, something like that. They can go onto their business manager into pages and add you as a person, or you can request access right here. Uh, type in their page name or put in the URL, click request access, and then that invitation will show up like I just showed you in their request section like this. And then as you have your pages added here, you can come up here and click add people or add partners. Now that we just in the users section added people and or partners, if you want to add them to a page and assign them different roles, that's how you would do that there. If you want to add a person, 
they would show up right here in this section, give it a click, and then here in this column, you can assign them the different roles. Next one down is add accounts. And it's the same thing here, give the blue button a click, you can add an ad account, request access to, or create a new ad account. And then same thing, once you've got an ad account added, if you click on it, then you can add people, assign partners, or add assets to it. Okay, I'm gonna skip down to Instagram accounts now, and Instagram accounts is slightly different because you'll see here if we come up and click on add, and then click on connect your Instagram account, it forces you to put an uh, username and login it forces you to log into your actual Instagram account so that's not very great if you want to add like a clients Instagram account to your Facebook business manager right so like with pages where you could just request access to a clients Facebook page and have access to it that way you're not able to do that with Instagram accounts I don't know why seems like you should be able to do it that way but for whatever reason you can't right now so what I think is the best way to do this, and I have a video that goes more in depth here, but I'll just quickly mention it, that I think the best way to do it is if you have your client set up their own Facebook Business Manager account, they add their Instagram account to it by logging in, like as we're, we see here. But then what they do is once they've done that, they come up here and click Assign Partners, and then they throw your ad account ID in right here and add you as a partner, and then once that's completed, their Instagram will show up right here. So it's a little different, I don't know why, from pages, pages you can request access, Instagram accounts you can't request access, someone has to add you as a partner to it. So a little different, but it can all work out where everybody has the, the access that they need. Okay, I'm gonna close up this accounts column now. If we click on data sources, and then you've got catalogs. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna jump into pixels. So pixels, this is where, you, I'm not gonna go into what a pixel is and all that, but very important it's super helpful for all sorts of stuff click on the blue add button right here you can create a new pixel and then once a pixel is there if you click on it you can add people assign partners and you can add assets 